Oh, that's a frustrating day. I'm back. I had a long lunch because uh, I got egg fried rice for lunch. Time for the um. Whoa! And we've only got where the wall is to put the course in bricks in. Have it, window height. We're only bloody four courses out on yesterday, but we're at window height now, so we'll get that set up after the break, or we'll get it set up now. We'll have a quick break and then get cracking again. Get all this up to um, 20 courses, and then we'll jump on the inside on the blocks. Oh, yeah, we've been to Fairwoods today as well. Picked up uh, more cement, some sand because the ton sand's not coming till this afternoon, and some cement. So we've got we've got enough materials to get us going for the morning and hopefully that send arrives soon.
some clean while I'm off over Christmas. Our, our red stuff's getting very dirty. So there you go, there's our window, 2.4 or thereabouts, it's slightly less than 2.4. The lintel's come 2.7 lintel. Big rascal. The big price tag. So there's our lintel. 2.7. As you can see, brickwork's looking nice. The joints look huge compared to the house, but the br house bricks are definitely bigger than these. These face bricks are only 63 mil. They look, look like they've got massive beds, but they, they have the um, they haven't the, the, the small bricks. But they do make a nice job. <sighs> really smart. If anyone lives in a red row home will recognise these bricks. Although I don't think many bricklayers live in a red row home. We can't afford it. But yeah. Uh, pillars up one more than that end, just because we can reach it better. And we're going to take it up another two to get to the top of the profile. And then the pro profile's obsolete. Then we can take that down, and we can drop inside and get on the block work and start getting some insulation in. Get some block work up. I'll work out the cuts. I get a few cuts done. Probably just cut here into this bush, so the bush take catches a lot of the dust. I'm not cutting it with wet because um, we need the blocks dry. It's alright if you're cutting a load and you're going to be sat there for a week while they dry out, but we can't do that, we're going to use them straight away. As you can see, it's a lovely day, plenty of sun on the house, everything's drying out nice. They're a very nice brick to set these, even though they've got a frog in them. We don't do a lot of frog brick up here. A lot of our bricks are perforated, so we're used to them, but um, yeah. I can just get that water out of the cavity. And Alex is just going to get, uh, get the sand from the mix. Like I say, two more courses on the two pillars, and we can jump inside. I've been having a look at the bond, tracing the bond, get the cuts worked out. It's, just, um, it's not a lot of cuts. Obviously, that's block on block, straight up, so that can be thrown up today quick. This side here, I think there's um, two cuts per course, and then the same here, two cuts per course. Because the way the bond works, we'll cut a hundred mil off the end. And that's our throws the bond this way and the three quarters throw the bond that way. Just try to keep the cuts to a minimum. Nobody likes cutting. And yeah, the pillars work nice so there's no small pieces. And the other thing is, as you can see our little forest of tie wires that we never put in. Um, that's our last tie wire to now. So the next one after that is going to be three and then one. So we're going to put a row in this one and then a row in the one above because this is going to be our, our coursing course up here. So um, we've put the coursing course in the window because obviously if you put it below the window you've got to put all these in. But if you put it at window height then we've only got where the wall is to put the coursing bricks in. And I'm, I'm just going to cut the coursing bricks down out of the full block. Um, just look better and it's quicker. Even though I'm cutting them with the machine, with the uh, cutter, it's still quicker laying them. Better bond, so um, better all round. So I'm going to get this all jointed up while that gets a mix in, and then I'm going to start doing some cuts. So we're uh, catching a bit. <laughs>
didn't record anything then. But there you go, that's what I was recording. First course down, bond set out, cuts done, well, a few cuts done. You can see the um, insulation, the tie wires. I'm going to move the camera and put it back on time lapse. Three. Sun's getting low. It looks like it does something today. <laughs> yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Fill us up. It always does once the box go in. Just a quick one for any um, people who haven't got the glasses on while they're watching this video. I don't know if you can spot those. They're called tie wires. It's hanging, people, your, coat, hanging your coats. Yeah. People, people get kept asking us that much about them. We thought we'd go and buy some. Google it, see what we did with them. So I think that's right. Well, I hope it's right. So, um, yeah, quarter to three. We're not going to need any more mix, are we? No. So, yeah, there you go. Corner's up. So that's Alex can just plod away on that side now and get that, that block work up. So I've got it up to the course and height height, which is the course and height we're putting on seven. So then the tie wire's changed there, and we've got to cut the insulation down. Um, because um, you know, you've got to put another course of tie wires in there, I think. One, two. Yeah, because if you don't, it's too far between it to your next tie wire. So anyway, there's a window opening, 30 mil back to get the wind, the cavity former in. I should really cut that down a bit, really, so it goes in there too. But you have to get one in there. And it's easy to push down there. Um, yeah, that's the height. We're going to top that off, and then this is ready for the trestles going up. And while Alex is doing that, I'm going to go in this corner, face the bond round, and get start getting this corner up. And then tomorrow, when I'm on my own, I'll probably get on that and then see what I get up to. So, yeah, I'll put you on out for a bit while I get myself organised.
Right. Time for the aim. Whoa. One there. And then we've got the big one. This is a... We don't use this very often, but... It comes in handy when we need it. As you can see. Our floodlight. Made up with that. We've had this about three years. Used it the third time we used it. So it doesn't get used often, but, it, but it's really useful when it does. So it, that's it. Alex has got the ball up. That is now scaffold height. The course and brick course is on. So now that's just one, two, three, four, five, two, three, six. Two course a block to lintel height, which is lintel height. And then probably another course of block on top of that for wall plate height. And then it'll be two course of brick on the outside after lintel height. I'm going to pick up some um, brown wheat vents so we can match match the house. Pick some of them up so everything matches. Yeah, there you go. That's up. Don't forget this is a flat start. I think I loaded the blocks out this morning. So corners up, finished. Windows set out. A couple of blocks to go in there to get that front finished. And then I'll do this without the light. And I got the corner up to one, two, three, four, five. But that was doing the cuts as well, so I've been over there doing the cuts with the, with the saw. So yeah, it's um tidy up, joint up and go home. It's just turned four o'clock and look how dark it is. Well you can't really pick it up on the camera but it's dark. It's pointing to the garden. Yeah. So I'm gonna set you up somewhere where you're not being dazzled by the light and we'll get jointed up and tidied up. That's why we brought the big light. It's uh, pitch black at the moment. It's very cloudy, so uh, obviously what little light we would have had is gone. But for the most part, we're we tidied up. We just need to get the jointing done. But there you go. Looks like we've actually done done some work today. So that whole side is ready for scaffold height, and Dad's got this corner started and set up. So. It's just a case of running the line in for up to window height and then getting these pillars up and then it'll be a uh, scaffold height. <sighs> Long day and it's dark but we've got our light. Like I say, all that's got to get done now is the block work and his jointing. Thank God the bricks don't, bloody hell. <laughs> but we'll catch you next time because it's getting a bit too dark and awkward to film his jointing. But trust us, we're going to do it. <laughs> we'll show you in the daylight but until uh, until our next last, last little snippet before the last part of this video, we will catch you tomorrow. Happy Saturday the 16th, and it's daylight. Just getting the trestles set up. Um, Alex is only here for the morning, he's, he's off out this afternoon. So he's just come to get me all set up and help me get sorted. I so, was volunteered. Hey? I was volunteered. He, he was asked. He was asked. But he did a stream last night, he was up till half past two doing a stream on Twitch, so he's a bit tired. But he's coming to, it's a big help him coming in, because I can't turn these days down. Not when the forecast is so bad for next week. Um, so we're going to get this up, get it loaded, so I can clod on with this today. And then he's going to get me in the position where there's a mix in, and he can go. Get a bit of stone around, get a bit of backfilling done for me. And then um, once I'm on this bit, it's just a straight panel, just run it in. So um, that's the plan. So let's get this scaffold up.
Right, Alex has nearly got the mix in. Oh, this is gonna be hard today. Even if he fills me boards right to the top, I've still got to get up and down to load myself out when I've used it up. But there you go, profiles are up, as you can see. There, that's the last lift we need on them. We'll get, we'll easily get the pike out of them. However high the pike goes. So yeah. And we got an extra three course on this side, which we made up with. As you can see. Because it's just pillars, we, we just reached up for that. Obviously it's a bit more of a reach there, and the ground's a bit, a bit more up down there. So I'm going to concentrate on this wall today. Just get as much as I can done. We've, we've been struggling to use two mixers a day up, because these bricks... Anyone who knows using the bell mixer, you get about 110 to 120 bricks per mix. We're getting 150 plus of these frog brick, because they're only a shallow frog. And believe it or not, frog bricks taking less mortar. Weird, but true. And then the fibre lights, they don't take much either. I think we put about 70 odd in yesterday. And we had to throw a bit of mix away again, because it, obviously it's pitch black as you've seen for the video. So once that's in, I can get up here. Uh, before that goes, you're going to bring some more stone around. This, under the window, can be finished off. We're just going to finish it with limestone chippings and then customers can decide what to do with it after. This is a water feature that doesn't work anymore. So that's a big job to get rid of that. But they said keep the pebbles. So we could try and get the clay out of that, clean that up. Um, I'm just going to put some down here. We'll keep it back. And then once we've finished with the brickwork, we can brush it all forward nice and clean. Because obviously, if you leave it like that, it's covered in snots and mortar. Um, when we leave here, we'll leave it like that. Clean white stone. And the same round here. I've <coughs> been chucking stuff down this hole. That again, we'll stone that up. Up to the bottom of the flags. And before we leave, we've got to put about three of these flags redone. They've dropped. And we've got four broken flags to replace. So, oh, I think I'm going to be coming in here tomorrow as well, judging by the weather. And then the weather, check, the weather turns again on Monday. So again, we just, all right, people keep saying stop working weekend. Well, when it's going to pee down for the rest of the week, we've got plenty of time to stay at home while it's raining. We've got to work while we can, especially coming up to Christmas. We're, uh, you know, we're uh, 10 to 10, uh, 16th of December, so what, nine days off. So yeah, I'll get you set up somewhere. Oh yeah, first thing I want to do is set the laser up on this profile, line it up with the, li with the lintel, and then put my tape on this side. And I'm, I'm, yeah, I'll line it with the lintel height, and then we can measure it from that. I want to make sure that the, the lintels are bang on level. And I've just got a message from Danny about our steels. He's got the calcs ready, so I'll reply to him in a minute. Here's my tired boy. He's a trooper though, coming out and helping me. I couldn't exactly say no, could I? You could, but you had to deal with mum's wrath. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's it's not. This isn't. Like I say, we're working around the weather. I wouldn't be here myself if I could help it. I need the rest. But um, we'll just have to rest when it's raining next week. Oh yeah, uh, we forgot the ladders. Have we asked Mum to throw, throw the little ones in? I could perhaps put them up there. Yeah. So I'm not climbing up the block work. A bit easier. Anyway, waffling again. Let's get this laser set up and get me tape on this profile. I can get the line up and get cracking. There's our laser. And here's our line. So it's pretty close. So I think that's it. We've got to bed down a little bit. It's because we've uh, picked up a bit. So, yeah. Nix is almost in. And, like, that's the thing. I'm just going to bring some stone around while we get started. So, the, um, that black tape, that's the t top of that tape's my level now. So, we've got all our levels to work off now. So, that's our datum. That's our little height to get everything level. And then it's going to be a two course above all the way around and then a pike on the front which go got a lot higher than that one so right enough talking let's get up there and get some bricks set
for that to go down so we're going to crack on Alex is gone now he's gone for his, his afternoon out with his mates his mum came and picked him up so now I want to carry on with this lot all the mortar from that first mix is on the boards now so I don't have to get up and down and mix all what I have to do is get up and down to move the line get rid of jointing so I'm going to joint up first get back up there and get this mortar used up as quick as I can and then see what time it is I might do a small half a mix or I might just get all the cuts done for what, what's left at the top a lot of cutting to do so I might get that done instead we'll see but um, yeah it's um, half twelve now so let's see what happens It's a frustrating day. You have, you have all these ideas when you turn up for work, you know, what you want to get done, and then it doesn't work out. Uh, we've got uh, one, two, three courses left to go on there. Um, just talked to Neil about um, heights and wall plates and stuff. So obviously this is the last week before Christmas now. So I've got I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with a lousy weather forecast. It's said okay tomorrow, but there's not a lot we can do. We can top that off 
get the block work up, get it to lint light, get this bit up to lint light. That's it, we can't do anything else because we haven't got the steel. So, Monday I'm going to go straight to JM first thing in the morning and get the steel ordered because uh, Danny, our structural engineer, has kindly rushed through the uh, calculations for the steel and for the ridge. Sent him straight to us. Do we come in tomorrow on a Sunday and get it all ready? We could just try and get come in get an early dark. This is all dependent on whether Alex is coming or not. He might tell me to get stuffed. So, yeah, I'm going to finish off tidying up before it gets dark, which is doing quickly now. Get everything else covered up. I was going to try and get some cuts done today, but um, the day got away from me. It's very awkward this. Oh, up and down. Like I say, Alex got all the water up for me. So let's get up and down to put the line up. So that's enough talking. I'm going to go home. I'm going to relax. I had such a stressful last couple of weeks. It's been awful. But um, I've had a chat with Neil now. It's, it's took a lot of pressure off. So I think I just want to go home and watch a Christmas film with Christine. So um, I don't know when you're going to see us next. Could be tomorrow, could be Monday, who knows. But um, I'll see you when we see you.